Hello everyone, I'm here today to do my, um, what is it, March wrap up video. It's coming to you a couple of days early because I don't think I'm going to finish the book I'm currently reading right now in March. We'll see. But um, for this month I have read a total of five books. Yes, only five. I thought I was going to read more, but I did not. Um, since they were all pretty much library books, I don't have them physically with me. Hopefully there will be video um, pictures attached to this. If not, if my software decides to be nice to me today, they'll be there. If my software is not nice to me and you can't see the pictures, please refer back to my March to be read and you can actually physically see them. Uh, the first book I finished this month is The Lucky One by Nicholas Spark. And um, I actually really like this one. And um, I know everyone has heard me say, you know, I'm on the fence about Nicholas Sparks. I like him, but I feel like I read the same things with him often. Like, I feel like it's just same, um, same story, different characters almost. And I know I do like some of his novels. I love The Last Song, and I loved The Wedding. I read that one. I love The Notebook. So I guess I actually do like Nicholas Sparks quite a lot. But there are some books I just I can't get into. The Lucky One, and if you saw my To Be Red pile, the reason why I read The Lucky One is because The Lucky One, I, the movie version, I believe, is coming out next month. With Nicholas Sparks movies, I usually tend to try to read the books before I see the movies so I can get a feeling of both of them. So I'm actually anxious to see the movie. At first when I saw the preview, I was like, that's going to be corny, but the book's actually decent. Anyway, like I said, the book's pretty good. I was actually very surprised with that. I didn't think I was going to like it, but I did. I felt the characters were very strong. I felt like um, it was just a very good storyline and I was generally feeling um, like a like towards these characters. I loved Logan and I love that they're playing um, Zac Efron for Logan because I do think that he will fit that part pretty well. So I'm excited to see the movie because I like the book. I like how it ended. Of course I don't want to spoil anything but I ended the way I thought it was going to end and knew something along those lines would happen as they do in most Nicholas Sparks novels. Um, <laughs> but overall, I would say I give this book a 3 out of 5. You know, I didn't love, love it. I didn't really like it. I was okay with it. I thought, you know, it wasn't the best Nicholas Sparks book I've read, nor it was the worst. It was so-so for me, which a lot of books nowadays I read are so-so for me. I guess it takes a lot to wow me. I don't know, but, um, yeah. It is what it is was The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong and I really like this book guys. I thought it was a great book. If you have not seen my review, you should go check it out. I will leave a link in the down bar hopefully. I usually forget to do that but hopefully I will this time. But uh, I'm not going to say too much about this because you guys know how I feel. I also rated it a 3. This book I felt had somewhat of flaws but overall I liked it. I was okay with it. I was on, I would say I would give it a really higher upper star than in the three counts. I wouldn't say it was a very like low three star. You know what I'm saying? It was very close to being a four star because overall at the end I really did want it. I really liked it. The reason why I think it was three is because it got kind of romancy for me and I'm a romance junkie so I was hoping for more romance. But I've heard from many of you that I forget the sequel's name, um, The Summoning, The Awakening maybe? I don't know. But I've heard from many of you that there is much more romance in the second one, so I can't wait to read that one. The next book I read is Megan Meads, The McGowan's Boys by Kate Bryant. And I, yes, I like this one. It was totally chick flick, not chick flick, but chick lit, totally, 100%. It's about a girl that lives with six boys and just all, uh, um, romance ensues and all that stuff. It was a, um, I thought it was a great book, honestly. I flew through it because it was a fast read, of course, because most chick lips usually are for me because I can just tear it through some romance, you know. But, um, I really liked the premise of it. I thought the plot was great. You know, it was somewhat not juvenile per se. It was just a very easy read. I would give it four out of five because it generally kept me satisfied. Like, you know, I wasn't I didn't, at not any point in the book I thought it was slow or I hated it or I wanted to, you know, go on. I thought it was a very good pace. I loved the characters. I loved Megan herself and I loved, um, I forget his name, Finn. I think his name was Finn. I loved him in the book too. It was a very good book. The book I read was Bright Young Things by Anna Gobertson. This one I was not actually going to read in March at all. It was just, just, I just got it from the library just to have it and, um, I really enjoyed this one actually. It takes place in the 20s and I'm surprised I liked it as much as I did because, or maybe it was the 30s, it may have been the 30s, I'm not sure. But I'm surprised I liked this one as much as I did because I'm not a big fan of like old tiny books, like 
books that take place back in that time period because I just, I don't know, I can't get into them, I can't understand their lingo, but I really love this one. I thought the plot was just phenomenal. I really enjoyed this one, I've got to say. I loved all the characters. I like getting to different to know exactly the three different girls that were involved in it. The only thing I did not like in the book, which it may be a little bit of a spoiler, is the fact that it's about, pretty much, about two young girls that live in state, I think Iowa or Ohio or something like that. And they have big dreams to go, one of them has big dreams to New York City. The other one's um, going there for specific reasons. So they decide to go together. They've been best friends all their lives. And they get in one, yes, one little argument when they get there. And it's like, oh, we're done. We're going to part. I'm like, in New York? Why would you ever part with the only person you would know in New York? But I do like that, though, because you got to see the two girls struggle and grow and just see how they are their separate ways in a completely different state. And, yeah, it was just, it was just really good. I, I just thought it was amazing. I really like this one. I'm going to give my second four out of five because I really thought that this book just, it, it left me wanting more and I can't read the I can't wait to read the next one I it's just I think it's gonna be good I thought it was just a very good book um the last book I read which I read in one day because it was super thin and a very easy read is The Unwritten Mold by Elizabeth Scott um and I had not said anything at all about this book pretty much except for in a book haul maybe I decided to randomly read it because I thought it was gonna be a fast and easy read and it would help me to get to five books <laughs> I know that's awful, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, this is about um, two best friends. One of them has a crush on the other one's boyfriend. And it it's awful because I've read books like this before. And, you know, I'm not a fan of condoning and cheating and all. But, you know, they did this very tastefully, I thought, in this book. And I actually felt a sympathy and a love for the, for the girl and for the guy. I thought they were, you know, it was just a very good book and it well played out very well. Elizabeth Scott is a great writer. I've never read a book of hers I haven't liked even though I've only read two so I guess I can't be that good of a judge of it. Um, I should probably slow down my talking. I think I talk way too fast like Gilmore Girl styles. I can't help it guys. I just try to keep this video rolling and rolling and I literally can't snap so this is my snap sound. Isn't that awful? I've tried to snap all my life and never could. I don't know. I can't whistle that good. Anyway, I will try to talk slower because I'm sure you guys are sick of me going da -da -da -da. Anywho, I'm gonna give this book a three out of five because it was a quick read. I didn't feel like there was much to it, you know. I ultimately knew what was gonna happen in the end. With most chicklets books you usually do, but this one I just felt like I definitely knew what was coming in the end. But I did like it. It was a very good read, I thought. But then again, it was like it was so-so, you know what I'm saying? I love, I hate things so-so all the time, but I just do. I don't know it. Um, overall, I thought March was an okay month. I think it was kind of a downward for me because I picked so many library books. And I need to stop doing that because I say, there's not enough books on my shelves. As you guys can see, there's plenty of books on my shelf. I don't know why I'm like that. I guess being a YouTuber and seeing other people's bookshelves make me want more. And that's not a good thing to do. I don't want to be prideful about my books. I don't want to be boastful. I don't want to be jealous of people because they have more books than me. I need to be proud of what I have and use what I have. Of course the library is a great way to get books but I need to read the ones I already have. I just need to do that. I don't know why I keep saying I don't have. I counted yesterday that I have 77 on this, 77 books on these two shelves that I have not read yet and I need to do this. I need to get cracking on it because I need to do it. So, like I said, I'm going to keep my books, four from here, a couple from the library, hopefully totally out to seven books a month. I doubt I can do that, but we'll see. I don't know. But uh, what did you guys read in March? Did you guys read anything that you loved or hated or you just would not recommend or any recommendations? I would love to see them. Um, I hope you guys have a great and fabulous um, weekend because it is Friday. So have a good weekend and hopefully if I don't see you before then, have a great Easter. All right, guys.